Hey Deviants of the Dev Nation, it's Devi and welcome back to my channel! Now, let's talk cartoons. Today I'm going to be recapping and going through some highlights for the episode Bounce Lounge from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So if, if you adore, just simply adore music, dancing, well not a lot of fighting but magic. Oh, and we can't forget about Pony Head. That's my girl. <laughs> so yeah, if you love these elements, then you will love the episode Bounce Lounge. Before we even get into the recap and highlight, let me just say if you are the type of person that wants like non-stop plot heavy episodes, just Ludo Toffee Eclipsa all the time in every episode, then my friend, this episode just will not be for you. <clears throat> Please drop a like on this video and let's get right into the recap, shall we? The episode begins with Ponyhead crying rambunctiously. That's a big word. Ooh. Without even telling Star and Marco why the heck she's crying. Come on, Ponyhead. Gosh, I felt the noise already. So when she finally decides to tell them, she reveals that the bounce lounge is closing. So Star starts crying and going crazy and breaking glasses with her voice and all this thing. Oh my gosh, it was crazy, dude. So the bounce lounge is basically where Ponyhead, Star, and their crew would go to party back in the days, you know, when they were smaller. So Marco tells Star that maybe Ponyhead is wrong. Like, when has she ever been right about anything? So I just stop the crying, you know? That's basically what he wants. We cut to the scene where we see they actually go to the bounce lounge and there's a big sign that says, yeah, it's closing, of course. <laughs> so Pony was, Ponyhead was indeed right. And then we meet Millie Sparkles. Ooh, her name fits her just right. She's just fabulous. And she has this little mystery going on with her glasses. Design is on point. She's on this cloud that, oh, fabulous Millie. Millie was fabulous. Fabulous. So Millie is the owner of the club and she confirms that yes, yeah, she is indeed closing the club because nobody is coming to the club anymore. It's empty. It's barren. So might as well just close it. So Star is like, oh my gosh, I feel like it's our fault. We haven't been here in such a long time. So Star decides, yo, we should get this crew back together. So the crew would involve um, Star, Ponyhead, uh, Kelly and Todd. Tad. Tad, I think his name is. Tad. Then you have a new guy named Johnny Blowhole. I don't know if it's Headphone Joe or Headphone Jones, but yeah, Headphone Joe or Jones and Lady Scarf's a lot. That's the crew, like that squad goes. So they tell Millie that basically they go back to Millie after they formed the crew and that was a little bit of journey, not anything much, but yeah, it was a little cute to watch them. So they go back to tell Millie that, hey Millie, we got the crew back, you know, so let's just freaking open this place and start dancing and partying. But then Millie brings up another excuse saying, we don't have the money, you gotta pay mortgage, and we ain't got the mortgage money. So they're like, we gotta get some, if we get people into the club, then they can pay to get in and we can use it to pay the mortgage so the club doesn't have to shut down. So Millie's like telling them, just let it go. You know, everything happens for a reason. Nothing stays forever. So, but Star's like, uh-uh, we're gonna turn the music on. We're gonna start dancing, get some people up in here. You know, I can understand. It's their club. People love to dance. I love to dance. We all love to dance. You know, just enjoy yourself no matter what the heck you're doing. So I can definitely understand with Star and Ponyhead how they felt on this one. So she decides that they all come together and they decide that, hey, we're gonna start dancing, we're gonna put on some music, we're gonna do our thing and hopefully attract some customers. And it actually did, it actually, it actually <laughs> attracted a lot, way more people than I actually expected. So Marco was the one in charge of collecting the money and everything, but eventually they needed some more dancers on the floor to, you know, get people in the vibe. You know, the more people you see dancing, it's the more it's gonna make you wanna dance. You don't know, wanna just stand in the corner. And some people, I know even if you're standing in the corner, you're still moving your feet or waddling your finger. So yeah, they wanted that little effect on the dance floor. So Marco starts dancing and starts like, just express yourself, Marco. And he's like, who, just be myself. And then he starts doing some karate moves and I'm like, okay, I feel you. So before Kelly was really mad because she and Tad broke up, but now Tad comes back to the club just in time when they needed like 
more per more people to be on the dance floor. So he's like, Kelly, this is where we first broke up. We have to get back together. And Kelly's like, oh, Tad, I love you, Tad. Let's do it. And then they just go into an area, PG, 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 censored, censored, censored. <laughs> so basically they end up making the money and they give it to Millie. So Millie is like, uh, okay, I can't put on this facade no more. Listen, I've been partying forever. It's time for me to stop. I'm getting old. Then she takes off her glasses and I'm like, ooh, my gosh, Millie, girl, you lied. So she's like, she's tired. Everything must come to an end. She's done partying. She even goes as far as to use a wrecking ball to burst some of the stuff down. It was over for the bounce lounge. So how? Can you guess what happened in the end? I don't know what happened with all the money. I would think Millie's gonna take that for her retirement funds, you know? I don't know what happened with the money, but they go back to Star's room, everybody, the whole crew, and the Star is like, well, at least I have this piece of gum from under a table to remember them and remember the bounce lounge. And then, let me see who else had something. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Ooh, Marco, Marco had a chip. No, what the heck? Not a chip. He said he he has either a chip tooth or um, a piece of the floor. Honestly, these are some weird stuff and I can relate except with the bubblegum part. Because when I was younger and would always visit my family, I would I would take the weirdest things to remember them. Like when I'm leaving for off summer break. For example, I remember this time I took a clothespin. If you don't know clothespin, this is a close win. I took half of that because it was broken in two. Oh my gosh. It eventually dry rotted. That's how long I kept it. So yeah, I can relate with these gifts. But now Ponyhead is like, oh gosh. Well, at least you guys got something cool. You know, all I got was the photo booth. And I'm like, what the heck? Why didn't they think of this all along? That is why I love Ponyhead. I know we connected more than just our attitude, so <laughs> Ponyhead is my girl, man. I was very, very happy with this episode. It was fun, and guys, I don't have a problem with fun episodes in Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Fun episodes are always welcomed in my book. And the moral of the episode was basically nothing lasts forever, which is true, which is, which is very true. And the shout out of this video, guys, to our lover, 88. Thank you, my friend, for being so active on my videos and for subscribing to my channel. And I want to believe you have notifications on because I see your comment coming. Uh, your comments always come in early on my videos. So thank you from the bottom of my, my heart. I just stumbled and I'm going to leave it in the video. Thank you so, so much. And if you want to get the shout out in my next video, literally all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and comment down below when you're done. Please be sure to drop a like on the video. That will help too. And the earlier you comment, the better your chances of getting the shout out. Okay, so go around and watch my other videos because this is the end of this video. Bye-bye. <laughs>